what's up Philadelphia? You guys ready to rumble? Yeah? Alright, good. I have a story to tell about being an artist. Before, before I'd like to do that, I just want to uh, pay tribute to my sister, who actually stood on this stage before I did as a slam poetry S. Poetess. Poetess. So, anyway, let's get started. Um, I think to, in order to be an artist, you got to have a really large set of balls. There's no doubt about that. Uh, the, the trick is knowing when to use them. Um, <clears throat> as an artist, uh, my craft is acting. Acting in films, directing films, and I got my big break in 2006 with a small film called Two Minutes Later. I was cast as the lead actor. Now, as a lead actor, uh, as an actor, you're always wondering where is the rent going to come from, right? But when you're not worrying about that, you're wondering which roles that you can take that will push you outside of your comfort zone. And as a straight male actor, that is the gay male role. <laughs> and in, two, in, in uh, two minutes later, I had the opportunity to play not one, but two gay males. They were twin brothers. <laughs> I, I felt completely comfortable with this, but I really never learned how my girlfriend at the time, Lex, felt about it. Now, Lex was a pre-med student, and uh, we were in love. We'd been together for about a year. And she was from Pittsburgh, and anybody who knows Pittsburgh knows that the moral value difference between Philadelphia and Pittsburgh is it's, it's enormous. There's a big gap. It's amazing what 300 miles would be in between two cities. Um, <clears throat> so, just as I was announced to, to play this part, I went out to Pittsburgh to meet her parents. She's a kindergarten teacher. He was a math teacher. And they loved me, and they thought, you know, this is a, a clean-cut kid from Philadelphia, you know, so he's a starving artist, but, you know, he's employable. Um, and that, you know, that worked in my favor. And when they asked me, what's the movie about, I said, well, it's a romantic comedy. <laughs> so, um, Robert Gaston uh, is a first-time director, and... He's telling us about the story that, that we're going to be performing over the next 30 days at a dozen locations. And basically what I got from it was that it's a murder mystery meets a gay nudie magazine. Um, and, and Robert's style of directing was, I apologize, you've got it wrong, let's do it again. And I said, well Robert, I think the, the character should be doing this. No, 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 no. I think he would do this. So I got it, you know, but this is a movie that was probably about 40 to 50% gratuitous nudity. <laughs> nudity. And not only that, but my first big love scene, the one that I was dying to do as an actor, was going to be with a man. <laughs> so, um, you know, I had to trust in him, and he said, well, listen, trust me, don't worry, there'll be no frontal nudity. I was like, okay, alright, got it. <laughs> so, um, you know, we're shooting this film, and, uh, you know, Lex and I, our, 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 our relationship is evolving very quickly. And her parents invite us out to Christmas. Um, and I've got the big invitations, the, you know, the second time to meet the parents. And it's definitely kind of moving towards, you know, more of an eternal and less of a kind of a, you know, he's a sexy artist, I'm going to have him for a couple years while I'm in med school. <laughs> so, the love scene. Um, we're shooting this, we're, I, you jump on set, and I can tell you that whenever, there, when, whenever you're shooting a love scene or you're shooting a fight scene, everybody's really excited on set. Um, and I'm acting, I'm acting with this guy, his name's Mike, Matt, excuse me, and he's gay. And he, he and I have no idea how the scene is going to go down, other than he's going to be on the bottom, I'm going to be on the top. And he's absolutely petrified. So we jump into the bed, we've... You know, we've got our underwear on, we pull sheets over each other. I've never even kissed a guy, and let alone, you know, s simulated sex. And, and, and you know, we're, we're about to go at it, and, and Robert's like, no, you know, I think that the sheets would actually be down, and you'd be naked, and I think his legs would be up to your ears. <laughs> so, we're at the movie theater. Lex has been taunting me for two weeks about this big surprise. All my friends and family are there. 8th Avenue, 34th Street the most enormous scream that you've ever seen. Well, it turns out the surprise that was her parents had flown into town to be at this premiere. 
we're all sitting in the theater. My friends are in the back. They're hooting and hollering as the first scene comes on. Lex's parents are sitting over here. As the nudity becomes more gratuitous, I can see her reaching in her purse, pulling out a napkin and dabbing herself. And then the scene comes on. There's the kiss. And what I hadn't noticed when we were shooting the scene was that in Robert's infinite wisdom, he placed the camera back here, shooting right up the bed. And there I was. I know. I'm sorry. I'm going to take this a little longer. And there I was. There I was. And, and all you saw was, in soft background, my torso. Two men grinding. There was definitely, it was, it was simulated, so there was a mat between us. And just hanging there. Like, like a speed bag, an enormous speed bag between my legs and my balls, just jiggling there. So, yeah, I, mean, I mean, it looked like we were, we were looking down this like sea monster that had been irradiated with ginormous testicles. I mean, unbelievable. You know, 70 foot fall screen. But needless to say, Lex's parents got into the taxi without mentioning one word about Christmas. Um, my relationship with Lex took a turn and we're no longer together. But I do want to say this, that I, I, you know, I struggle with the fact that my one big moment on screen is my testicles are three stories high. You know, I will live with that. But, you know, most important to me is the fact that I am still an artist, I'm still struggling to make it, and I'm very happy with what I do. Woo! Yeah.